What's up guys, my name is Ace, and welcome back to Live Lessons with Ace. This is the series where I play live and try to share what's going on in my head, and I try to bring up as many tips as possible while I'm actually playing, and I try to demonstrate these live. So, in today's episode, the thing that was requested most since my past two Live Lessons with Ace have been uh, Team Deathmatch. Number one most requested thing was Play Domination. How do you play Domination? So today is going to be a very general, just how I approach Domination. So I'm going to be using whatever I feel is best suited to the situation. I'm not going to pr pick any one particular play style right up front. I might end up switching things around. We'll see how it goes. But we're going to hop into a game and we'll see how we do. All right, guys, here we go. We got Infection. I'll just show you the class I'm going to start with, at least. I did just prestige my M8, so I have no attachments for it. But this is the class I'm going to start with. Doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be the class that I'm going to use all game. Uh, I might have to adapt my playstyle midway. I'm just going to stop and help capture A here. Looks like, oh yeah, we have even teams now. For a second there, it was 4v6 in the pre-game lobby thing, but now it's uh, evened out a little bit. I don't want to push straight for B, because that's what they expect. Instead, oh, oh, we got a major skip here. The team that controls this room on Infected usually controls the game. Okay, they did get B, but I don't want to give up control of this room. Oh, I thought I reload. Getting a weird little, uh, little bit of skips and stuff with the connection, which is making things a little difficult. I'm not hopping on that B flag on my own right now, because then I'll end up just getting flanked or rushed, and we'll lose it right away. So I'm waiting for a little bit of team support here. Maybe I'll get this one kill. And then I'll uh, I'll try and jump on, and hopefully my teammates will kind of see what I'm doing and and jump on with me here. So I'm going to use this capture spot to hopefully avoid any nades and stuff. I do have flak jacket though, so I'm not too concerned about that. Now we want to regain control of this room, but I didn't actually jump there. I was trying to jump over and up into there, but I ended up mantling. So really, that is the key to domination on this map already. I can tell you right up front, control that room, you control the B flag. Uh, and I'm, you might even see me just kind of camping there like most of the game. That is my goal, actually, on this map. Because you get a great line of sight on anybody that might be trying to capture the B flag. You have great cover to challenge people over here. If people start flanking, you still have great cover to try and take them out. It just basically controls the game. It doesn't matter which side you're on, either. So, this is mainly what I'm going to be doing, like, all game. And that's, that's just the plan. I, I think I can... Oh, crap. i got to work on my aim a little bit. I should be able to effectively control the game if I control this room. Ooh, almost lost that gunfight. So now they're going to be spawning A. We allowed those spawns to flip. So now I'm obviously turned around this way. Keeping an eye out towards that window there because I can get a line of sight on that window, which you'll know if you watch my maps exposed. I think this one guy got on our flank. I think we're all right. Ah, the darn clones. Oh, crap. Nope. I got to chase this guy down. Otherwise, he'll turn around and destroy me. Uh, I think he just jumped up into the window. No, he didn't. Okay, uh, I'm not going to bother chasing that one guy. Hopefully my teammates figure out he's there. They will at some point here as they start dying, but he is still alive in there. Oh, I'm not prepared for this gunfight. Not prepared at all. It's kind of the thing about being in that room too. You can use an SMG and it's great for c controlling the room itself, but it's not so great for controlling the, the longer lines of sight and things. Didn't even hit him. I usually like running a red dot on my M8, but that is something I don't have, and I shouldn't have stacked up behind my teammate like that. Gave him a free double kill. Okay, we'll just see if he's pushing this way. Doesn't look like it right now, although he might be. I think he's running Ghost, that guy. He seems to be getting on our flank pretty effectively. Just pop, a, pop one of those there. I do have my combat focus, but I don't know what I'm going to save it for. Just heard a Cerberus is coming in, like, right there. It's upside down. Okay, we'll just try and avoid that Cerberus a little bit here. Push this side of the map. We still hold B. They haven't tried pushing B yet, which is good. Oh, crap, no! What just killed me? They have a Wraith, too? When did they get a Wraith? <laughs> I missed that part. I totally missed that. Where is it? There we go. There's the Wraith. I'm just going to get myself out of here. I'm not going to mess with that Cerberus. I don't have an EMP class ready to go either right now since I did just recently prestige. All right, now it's time to push back for that map control. So I'm kind of glad we're getting a little bit of back and forth here so it's not just me uh, camping that room all game. So you're going to see a little bit of me like trying to push for control at the B flag. That guy's in a power position. He was very important to take out. I did hear a guy on our flank here. Normally I wouldn't be too concerned about defending C, but... Uh, in this situation, 
I want to get C defended so that we can push for B. There is a guy in this room. Teammate just got him, though. All right, we want to make a smart push for map control here. Is that it? Okay, he's dead. All right, right now, I don't like that situation. I'm going to go for the flank instead. Only reason for that is they have a guy up in that window who's got a line of sight on me if I push mid. And then there's also a guy controlling that room that has a clear line of sight on me as well. So I have potentially two angles to be shot from if I would have attacked him head on. So instead, decided to go for the flank. We'll see. I think, is there a guy pushed up here? I, I don't really know. I thought I should have won that gunfight. I got two pretty, pretty solid bursts on him. I don't know. Two pretty solid bursts. But here we go. We're getting control of this room. They do have that sniper up there. I'll just use this capture spot, and I kind of... I think he can't pick me off here. I'm going to lay down. Play it smart. There we go. I should have popped my combat focus there as well. I wasn't really paying attention. Still not really paying attention. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, in that gunfight, that was still really sketchy and terrible aim and everything. But you can see, I tried to create a little bit of distance between me and that person. Uh, I knew they were reloading, I was reloading. Best thing for me to do was to jump back, create a little bit of distance because they had an SMG, I had an assault rifle, so the more distance I can get between me and them, the better. They still had the advantage there, but I was able to just kind of get lucky with that, that M8 shot. Well, lucky, I guess, maybe a little bit of skill, but lucky that they weren't on target there because I should have died in that situation, to be completely honest. And that's kind of the uh, the problem with that room is you want that long, long line of sight, uh, with the M8, and you want that short line of sight to actually protect the room. So I'm going to just skip C. I know it doesn't give me a huge advantage here off the start. Like, you'll see I'm just barely ahead of my teammates, but even that makes a difference. I think this is not the clone. Oh, wow, they keep rushing. They are very aggressive. Okay, just a little word about my back. My teammates should have my back covered right now. I just wanted to have a quick peek over there to see if anybody is rushing. All right, now we grab B. Oh, we got it. Nice. All right, I'm gonna have to push out to my right and, and make sure I get control. I do have a teammate over on my right. I can see him on the mini map there. Got a guy rushing. No, nope. we got a guy on our flank though. I'm not gonna worry about the C flag. It's all about the B flag here. If we lose the C flag, my teammates will start spawning all over A. We'll just cap A. It's no big deal. I didn't hear that person coming. I thought I would, to be completely honest. All right, are they on B? No. Oh crap! This person running dead silence. Yeah, they are. That's why. Bane of my existence because I've become so reliant on sound horn. I still haven't popped my uh, combat focus at all. I'm going to pop it now just in case I defend the B flag, which I didn't, but... Oh, whoa, whoa. Nothing you can do. <laughs> You're just dead. All right. We got to get that map control at B because we're kind of on the verge of losing B here pretty soon. I know they're not, like, right on it or anything. Oh, didn't mean to wall run. Yeah, I know they're not, like, right on the B flag right now, but... Oh, we got a hardened sentry on there. Uh, but with that la lack of map control that we had there for a while, it was something we definitely had to worry about. Nobody has control of this lane out here, and this is why I'm pushing to fill the spots. So that's really... I'm, I'm keeping an eye on my mini-map, and I'm finding out where the holes are and trying to fill them. Shouldn't have survived for that long anyways. Okay, I can see where they are now. Looks like we're probably going to have one or two people pushing this way, potentially, but I'm just going to keep an eye on my teammate on the mini-map that just pushed that way. If he ends up dying, then I know I have to start worrying about that. But right now, it's more so this room, as always. This room controls the game. Okay. So, we flipped him to C, which is no big deal. Not a problem. Ooh, that was a shotgun or two. There was that person there, but then I've got people coming off of the C flag here. Get me in this room. I'm a little worried about that person pushing back for me that pushed that way. Okay, so our main focus right now, like spawns are kind of flipping back and forth. That's okay. We don't worry about that. Too many people get caught up like, oh no, we're losing A. Oh no, we're losing C. You can see it always balances itself out because people, your teammates end up spawning one way or the other. B, on the other hand, you absolutely don't want to lose and I just did. Oh, unless my teammate got in there for def- Yeah, my teammate got in there for the defend. Good job, teammate. Oh, for now, anyways. For now. I'm not going to waste my time trying to throw a nade. Get one guy there. Ah, okay, we're going to lose B. That's okay. We just have to push for map control, get it back. But yeah, like you, like I was saying there, I was just focusing all my attention on the B flag because that's really all we had to do. Instead of getting distracted at A or C, as long as you hold B, A and C work themselves out most of the time. That guy should have killed me. 
This guy should kill me. Teammate got him though. Oh crap, got a guy on her flank. And I just got blocked by my teammate. I was trying to slide. I would have had that, I think. I'm pretty sure I would have got around that corner just fine. I'm going to push this way and pop my combat focus. I'm very confident they're going to be pushing this flank. Very confident. And I can't freaking aim this thing. <laughs> I'm going to blame it on no attachments, but really it's just bad aim. Heard a UAV come in. Alright, I'm not going to challenge I got C just because I'm hurt right now. My teammates will probably pick him up, no problem. So it's it's all about B right now. We do have some pretty solid enemies that, that are playing hard and uh, they can win gunfights. So that's good. I, this is something I wanted to see. I wanted to see a little bit of back and forth with this episode. I didn't want to just completely annihilate the enemies. Because that doesn't really show too much aside from I'm clearly better than my enemies. <laughs> Oh, I didn't know that was an enemy that was beside me. All right, um, I think we actually don't technically need to get the B flag, just looking at the math of it right now. If we hold one flag for the rest of the game, it, we'll win. I think it's going to be relatively close, but we'll win. Like, they'll be up in the 185 points. I mean, I'm still going to make an effort to go for the B flag as long as I don't lose C in the process. But I think we're good. I think we are definitely good. Oh, no, they'll only be at, like, one. Oh, my God. That was the fastest sparrow death ever. I'm on a death streak right now. This is brutal. That's okay. I don't like putting UAVs up. Crap, they're on both sides of me here. Ooh, and they got a hardened sentry too, which is a power streak for domination. Yeah, that's what happens when you have no map control. You get surrounded like that. We can't lose C. We absolutely cannot lose C. If we lose C, I'm going to be very disappointed. I don't care about B or anything else. We're good if we just hold C here. Oh, baby. that's They've got the sentry on C, too, so... They're smart. They put it on C, but there we go. We managed to hold out the win. I did have a great teammate with me as well, the Grand Rash. He was he was right there with me. Actually, he was quite a bit ahead of me in control on that map and everything. So I hope that, that brings a few tips for you guys, uh, at least for the map Infection. Focus on this room right here. This is the key to controlling the B flag. And there's actually lots of maps like that where there's one specific area that completely controls the B flag. And then if you don't hold that, you're going to have a really hard time holding the B flag. Uh, also, map control, very important. You saw towards the end, lack of map control means I went on a death streak. I'm shot, getting shot in the back, getting shot in the side. We had to push up as a team in order to, to secure that. And uh, we weren't really doing that too effectively towards the end. So you saw a little bit of back and forth, which is really good with this series. So I'd like to hear what you guys think in the comment section below. What would you like me to cover next for Live Lessons with Ace? Uh, I could just cover basically different maps, but the same sorts of things. I've been kind of considering that. A lot of people have been wondering like, well, yeah, I see what you did on that map, but what about this map or that map? So I'm kind of thinking of branching the series out where I just play like different maps in general, covering like the same general topic. So I could be like rushing on this map in Team Deathmatch or rushing on this map in Domination or something like that. We'll see how it goes. I, I wouldn't mind seeing this, this series kind of evolve that way uh, let me know what you think of this one and let me know if there's another topic like a completely different and new topic you'd like me to cover for next episode hope you guys enjoyed and i will talk to you guys next time